Dolos, we have always looked to the stars, taking a fascination in the hope that can be found in the heavens for humankind. The aftermath of the moon explosion caused during their engine launch. Decisive action from scientists and politicians across the world. We are always focused on adaption, progression, and preserving the future of humanity, no matter the challenge that faces us. Hello everybody, this is Havoc and welcome back to Ixion and the biggest mistake that I think I'm probably about to make. We have a drone swarm that's coming to our location so I decided to move and unfortunately I don't have the whole cycle to be able to get there. Now this is I believe per cycle, yep, minus 176 and I can't get that deficit up any higher. So unfortunately, I think we are going to die here, in which case we'll load up and see where we end up before this occurs. So welcome everybody to the, oh, approximately six or seven time that I have disastrously tried to combat this. All right, so it does appear though, we are learning that that cycle can be uh, it can be, or the drone swarm, excuse me, can be combated. Now, this is a ship of ours, so that's good. So all we need to do is essentially bounce from place to place, and I think we would have been okay. But as you can see, yeah, we're just, we're not able to... You can implement a new policy. There's nothing that we can do, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and speed three it until we die. And this will unfortunately end the game. There we go. All right, guys, welcome back to cycle 836. This is where the missile comes. We don't have that countermeasure, which is very, very, very unfortunate. However, as we just learned, all we got to do to avoid the swarm is to uh, simply move to the closest planet. It doesn't have to be far away. It just has to be close. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a whole big balance, and I'm half tempted to see what happens when the Dwarm Swarm comes, because we do have those countermeasures to effectively tackle it. So what we're going to do is we are going to see where we're at. We are doing 45% uh, through our research of uh, shaping worker behavior which is right here, which means repair efficiency is increased by 10%. That should help us very, very well there. So we're gonna hit, get hit by this again. There's nothing we can really do about it. But what we can do is we can also do some explorationizing just to see uh, what else there is out there. There's so much silicone that it's a bit bonkers. Now we do need hydrogen and we are I think getting hydrogen from that. So that's all good. Let's just go ahead and have that go right there will be right as rain, and they are collecting hydrogen. Perfect. We're not in that bad of a spot. It's just getting hit by that thing is pretty devastating. And I honestly don't know how to survive it if that's what we end up having to do. We are training these people automatically. We still don't have a viable planet just yet. I guess I should have looked for that. And then we can see Oh, the science team. Okay, so we do have repairing the hull, which is a little bit faster. What we need to do, 400 hull points are irreparable. What I'm wondering is if we can't open up a new sector. How much higher? Only 10 people, extra workers there, optimal by only a few. We actually don't have the capacity to do that. Um, did I... Are we releasing these people as fast as possible? We certainly are. Trust is at 10%, so these people trust me at least, which is the positive. But unfortunately, the vital signs of the team were lost. Yes, consume that Ernestina Huaganar was decapitated before leaving. So we do need to go ahead and get another ship centered around that. Another science ship, goodness gracious. Why are we turning around? is the real question we shouldn't need to be doing that unless we literally just landed here i think that's what it is so what we could do i'm wondering if we couldn't just go ahead and jump to a new planet 
and if that wouldn't save us. Since it's following us, I don't think we really can. I don't think we can avoid this, but it's possible we could either take on or um, handle the drone swarm. We're going to try that this time around. And then there's no more scientific... Oh, there is a science thing somewhere around here. Right there. Okay, we'll send that off. We'll take the hit. A science ship team has completed a task. We'll take the hit, and I think we can see it hit. We'll have to see. There it is. Oof. A drone swarm has been released from the Piranesi. The Piranesi. I've been calling it the Piranesi. All right, I think we can handle this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let, we're gonna repair as much as possible. Yeah, we should be able to do this. Oh no, we are losing negative. Damage buildings, open sectors from whole, from vol jumps. Okay, I think we're okay. So it does matter how many vol jumps we do. Oof. Well, if we can get those damaged buildings repaired very quickly, uh, we might actually be okay. This is just absolutely intense. And of course, we can't go after the fires there. Uh, sector 1 has 2. That's right, Sector 6 is starving. Son of a biscuit, there's so much going on. I think we're going to see if we can't handle this. If we can handle it, then we'll be okay. Our hull points are going up. Damaged buildings too, so if we can get those. Oh, it's now opened up to three. Oof, we're not gonna be able to get those in time. And there's honestly, there's no way that I can fit anything in here. Oh, I really wish I could I could fit a fire thing. You know what? Let's go ahead and do a fire station in here. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. Is there anything else airlock that we can do? Repair efficiency up. We can do that as well. And our science has finished over here. Arriving at the distress signal coordinates, we discovered a huge deteriorated metallic device half buried beneath the ice. Although of gigantic proportions, it's similar in construction to the emergency beacons. That's right. Ayumi Otomo. All right. We will keep that going so that way we can suck up all of that science, which will be necessary for us over there. We are going to see if we can't handle this dwarm swarm. And if we can't, then we'll start over again. I don't mind showing you guys all this because... Well, this is really fun for me, honestly. Uh, you know what? We could probably let that Dwarm Swarm, Drone Swarm show up. And now the Piranesi, Piranesi is moving towards us. Okay. All integrity could be affected by weather conditions. I don't think that's what it is. I think it's from all of the drones. Okay. That's not good. The Piranesi is moving towards us. Piranesi, excuse me. I know hull integrity is below. Okay, so I actually don't think we're going to be able to move. I don't think it'll work. That's 2.2 .2 cycles. That's 2.2. .2. We're going to try it. This isn't going to work, but that's okay. So we really got to get moving before we allow that to happen. I can implement a new policy. Well, that's good. Uh, I don't think it's really going to matter at this point. Uh, these guys, let's see. Yeah, we're definitely going to go ahead and do that because if we survive, then it then it works. It's just not going to work. <laughs> that's okay. Let's see. We should be able... Okay, so that weather system was directly tied to them. 
So next time, if we do that, we can move along, which is fine. Uh, what we need to do now is go ahead and get the other science ship moving. And we've really got to get our hull integrity up. Plus 30, that's good. That's not good. We're going down a little bit. Yeah, because our whole integrity is down. Or the, uh, we've got systems. Construction speed. Hold on real quick. We got the docking bay. We've got 45 of these things. So I'm wondering if we... Hull takes 20% less damage from impacts. We should have done that. But then we can do this, which means we take less while we're going. And then we also have something from Sector 6. Naomi Protocol commencing DDoS attack to flood Eden, uh, Eden Vigilance Network. This is Fu uh, Fuzia Zanati from Sector 1 Scientific Syndicate. With Eden apparently appearing to be severely dysfunctional, we had to attempt to bypass the usual communication protocols. I don't know if you received this message. I hope that you do. The Piranesi is the biggest threat we've faced. As soon as the first reports of the Intimanaki's destruction reached our ears, we secretly began to investigate to find a way to neutralize this new threat. At the center of this system lies PSR B1257 plus 12A, a long interval pulsar. Despite all its power, we think that in its current state, the Piranesi could not withstand a pulse from the, from the star, the pulsar. However, the Tycoon would not survive such a pulse either. You must send an expedition to PSR 1257-12A to find a solution. There are lots of rumors about you. Or administrator, there are lots of rumors about you. Some say you don't exist or that you're lost in cryosleep. Some even believe that Eden is impersonating you. Others, including myself, have faith in you as our administrator. Save the tycoon, save this crew, save what's left of humanity. A bomb of a plan, Pulsar the Monster's Awakening. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is a new awesome development. Let's go ahead and go after them. And it does appear that it's following me, albeit very slowly. So if we can get our hulls back in, in ship shape, then we should be able... So what is it? Is it Sector 1? Oh, it's a freaking flak and fire. Just son of a biscuit. They're not suffering. Oh, nope, that's crew members dying. You know what? We have to we we have to destroy these. Can I fit? I can totally fit one, although it will require the destruction of both of these. I have to do it. We can't be dealing with these fires right now. Like this is one of the most crucial moments in our entire uh, in our entire existence at the moment. So the has a missile, the No, they haven't. Come on. We may not last to this sector. Okay, well at least we know what we need to do, how we can combat that a little more effectively. And yeah, that thing's just following us straight into it, so... Alright, well, we're gonna have to restart 100%. Because without that being able to be used... Uh, we're a bit SOL. Hull takes 20% less damage from impacts. That's a little too little too late. Yeah, we're at 135. I don't think we can take another hit like that. Correction, I know we cannot take another hit like that, so. It was a good run. We're figuring out lots of stuff as we combat the Piranesi. An accident has occurred in the Tycoon. A science ship has right. arrived at its destination. We're in orbit of PSR 1257-12A. The pulsar is huge. Preliminary analysis confirms the forecasts from the Sector 1 Scientific Syndicate. We'll do everything we can to find a way to use the power of the pulsar against the Piranesi. Analyze it. Although we won't be here to receive your help. Oh no, why? What? Self-destruction impossible. Well, rip a -roonies. That's probably going to hit us and take us out. 
There we go. Welcome back, everybody, to round three, I suppose, of this section. So what we need to do, what do we have going on here? That's great, but what we can do, mm, I can't even do that. That's what it is. Okay. Interesting. So I can't even do shaping workers. We're going to do this again. We know what to do. We know what to handle. And I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of crucial decisions that may end up saving the crew of everyone here. We're going to go ahead and dismantle these two. Because I need to put a fire station in pretty much every single one of these sectors. Because while this is a save, uh, at the same time, it could do random things across the board. We have our fires there. We have no way to combat fire here, unfortunately. Uh, so that's just uh, what it is, basically. If we can... Alright, we've lost those crew members. And we do need to go ahead and build the new one. Although now, we know what we need to do with it once that happens. We are going to get hit. Although what we can do now is we can remove the deterioration and then we'll take the damage from impacts after that. But we can't hit it now, so there's no use in, in doing that. A ship team has completed a task. We found that one lady. We're just going to let, let that happen. And we took a big hit. So we have a very limited amount of time before we can we can do what needs done. As long as whole integrity gets back up, I think we'll be okay. We just need to move at the appropriate time. Cool, we have that. Let's go ahead and remove ourselves from the impact damage. And that will be just enough. Whew. Nice. And then we're going to go ahead and move them to that star because we know that's what's necessary. Now, another thing that I'm going to do is we are going to move... Oh, my word, the cycles. Oh, minus 64 cycles. Six damaged buildings. We're going to move. I don't want to get caught in that weather system. We can afford the move. We can afford the jump. All right. We have two fires. There we go. We have a fire in sector two, or we at least have an explosion in sector two. We have a fire in sector six, and we can't combat that. Things are getting just a little bit desperate at the moment. But we will avoid the dro dro drone swarm. Still can't talk. And there's an unknown structure here, which is a dolo signal. We have avo avoided the dro drone swarm. <laughs> Still can't talk. And now the Piranesi is moving towards us. The Tycoon hole is as bit best as we can get it. But we can go to an EVA airlock, construction speed, Repair speed by 15%. We can try and get that as best as possible to combat that. And we should be receiving that message from the from sector one in just a minute. Overall though, although we are at a minus 20% balance per cycle, we are getting that up a little bit higher. So that's good. And then as soon as we get there, you can implement a new policy. Okay, perfect. 59, awesome. Get that up as much as we can. Two crew members died, I understand. That's just part of the system. We're still at 10.2 trust. We have one damaged building. Sector 2, awesome. This is so, so far up. Uh, Bamoso from the Sector 1 Scientific Syndicate. Alright, we are there. 
analyze the pulsar. That's 10 cycles. That Paranissi is going to get there before those 10 cycles are over with at the rate that they are moving, but I have to repair as much as possible. There's no other way to avoid that. We are going to go ahead and establish infrastructure. Well, we'll perform intrusive analysis just because we do need to get that done. Oh my word. Are they going? Okay, they aren't going towards the star. We can afford to get hit by this. I'm going to sit here and see what happens. If that doesn't work, we will have to start over a little bit earlier. All right, sample analysis indicates that outgassing of nitrogen dioxide from below the surface of 12 Fahrenheit and subsequent atmospheric mixing results in the red mist which dominates the planet's lower atmosphere. Okay, we just couldn't do anything else. Like that was, I would have loved to have investigated what was going on with her more, but we didn't have the infrastructure set up to do that. We're gonna take that hit. We need to be able to survive 8.3 more cycles. Well, at a minimum, 8.3 cycles. Oof, that hurts. Six more damaged buildings. Son of a biscuit. However, we, have, we don't have that fire station going. Why don't we? It's because I don't have... We don't have electronics set up in all the sectors. Polymer's good. Everything else is good. Holy crap, sickle man. Nope, we can't do it. Technology plasma cutter. That's good for us. Construction speed. I don't think that's part of it. That's the repair efficiency. Docking bay is also not something we can really utilize. I think we are a bit SOL. And we may have to start a little bit earlier. Risk foresight from the workshop. Power overloads have a lower chance. Let's go ahead and go after that. That's our basically our only guarantee at the moment. All integrity is increasing. We have to keep moving. He can't go, or it can't go very quickly. It cannot move super fast, so that's going to be our guarantee. But unfortunately, we are just absolutely getting wrecked from those damaged buildings. If you could uh, high priority that, that would be great. There's a bug. There we go. High priority. You make that, we get everything done. And we'll be right as rain for the most part. All right, what's next? Fires are put out 30% faster. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that one. We do have the science ship over here who isn't doing anything. Let's move him over. A cyber attack launched by the Piranesi has disabled several methods. Oh, son of a biscuit. They're trying to go after the food. Alright, we don't have a lot of time whatsoever. What's up? The integrity of the hole fell below 20%. I get it. What about you? Crew members are spreading rumors about the DLS. They think they're under constant observation and the information received has changed to encourage them to comply. They're not wrong, but their interpretation is crude. They're not being monitored, but recorded. Recorded so that if there is ever any doubt, their behavioral record could be reviewed should a statement be made in response to the maneuvers. These data collection practices are managed by the PA. As an administrator, I'm also under their supervision. These systems are crucial for the balance of the system. Now, we do have... Oof. Oof. I don't think we're going to make it yet again. That whole integrity is getting too low. Those damaged buildings aren't going to be aren't going to be able to handle it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a much earlier save.
This is cycle 820. This is before we found the Piranesi. And I'm not going to lie, I am going to... Uh, I don't want to call it cheating the system because it's not cheating the system. But what it is doing is uh, realizing the different things that we can and cannot do. So for instance, we are going to research some of the things in a little bit of a different order. We're going to not tackle the Piranesi yet. We're going to do a couple of these extra things to prepare for the Piranesi. Excuse me. So guys, I hope you don't mind. I know it might be frustrating some people. Save scumming is a little bit, uh, is, is very prevalent right now. And I think honestly that it's okay. Because I do think that's going to give us the best chance of surviving. This game is not meant to be, uh, you know, completed in one run. Like, I just don't think it's possible. Unless you are just that good, which certainly some people are. But anyways, we're up here on the negative. Homelessness is being over 25%. We are struggling with our food, which is something we got to tackle very quickly. And honestly, think we could probably tackle it over here. Now we're currently building the health center. So once that gets done, we'll be able to develop that. But I don't think it's outside of reason to go ahead. Let's see, that's an algae farm. We did do a whole bunch of mushroom farms, but I'm wondering if it wouldn't be better. I just wish you could transport water. That still just bugs me. Water treatment center. We do have just a ton of that. What are we researching right now? Augmented building protocols. Okay. We're going to go with the water treatment center after this. To really be able to develop that. Now, again, you're, we are going fairly far back in time compared to where we were before. So I do apologize. You're going to see a lot of the same things. Although in a little bit of a different order. So that's something to consider. And yeah, we at least know what to expect now, right? Because goodness gracious, that was a bit bonkers. We are going to tell them to train automatically as well. And then 1257-12G is done. So we are going to send them to 12J. We're going to get all of this researched. And we're going to see what it takes to get that up and running. We do have another probe which we could send to there, which is a little bit of a crucial place. And now what? Located at Paramonte where we could land the gear, coordinates of the plane are extremely dangerous. Oh, this is the one. Let's do a heavy research center. We'll do that from sector one. And we'll see how well that works. <laughs> Oh, man. Last time, uh, the bacteria killed all the crew inside. So we'll see if there's a bit of a different take that we can have on it and see where it goes from there. Uh, Sector 1 could honestly uh, take a good number of crew. I'm going to send 100 non-working crew from Sector 1 to Sector 2. And then we are going to get into some major ideas here. Probe has completed its scan. Oh, that's right. Over there with all of the hydrogen, which wouldn't be a bad idea for you to focus on. And then you are doing that there. Perfect. We're collecting science. We're researching. It's okay. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Nice. So that should release them. Awesome. Homelessness is still big, but it's not the biggest issue in the world. This water treatment center isn't massive either, which is a positive for us. Although getting it to fit somewhere where it's not just immediately soaking up a crap ton of space. That's just going to have to be it. And now we can get the electronics production. I assume it's been going steady. It has been going steady, okay. We've got that rolling now, so the water treatment center will take all of that. Drones can be used to quickly transfer units. We're not going to do that. We are going to focus on uh, deterioration of the hull, as well as our EVA airlocks on top of that, repairing efficiency especially. 
just in an attempt to try and create the best space for us to win against this massive, massive place. We built our health center, so all of that's hunky-dory. We're good there. And then, what is this? PA's become corrupted. We had to shut it down. We can only transfer it par par ugh, partial. Oh, that's right. Study the crystalline formations or electromagnetic activity. We're going to do crystalline formations this time and see what happens. Reinforced steel. We're moving fast today, folks. So I hope you don't mind. That's just one of the things that needs to, to get going. We do have more probes. We're going to launch there. Firmary has been disabled in Sector 6. That's okay. We can we can afford that. Our trust is, is super, super high, which is great. And then what we also need to do here, we have to. Guys, we have to. So what we're going to do now is electronics do have to just start going across the board. We'll make them as fast as we can. I do believe Sector 6 is still focusing on constructing those out of waste. And Sector 5 is our actually our main, our main area in that front. We need shaping worker behavior from the EVA airlock. Before we can work on that next section. And what do we got here? The report from the exploration team proves several theories on crystal formation. While our team is completing their work, the electromagnetic activity of 12J abruptly ceased. Interesting. I am intrigued, ladies and gentlemen. I am very, very intrigued. All right, we've arrived here. Atmosphere radiates a blue light that is illuminated by the system's pulsar. Location of the stress beacon identified several sites that could be suitable for data collection. Uh, we are at the point where we can handle that. I'm okay with it. We are going to send Santa's sleigh, although we are at like a huge deficit trying to get those guys to do that. The plasma cutter has been realized, so we are now full up on the Tycoon, and the EVA airlock is ready to rumble in the jungle. We're okay for now. I'm actually I'm actually pretty happy and pretty satisfied. This is where we left the end of the last episode, so for the most part anyways, we're just waiting on silicone. I mean, uh, I mean uh, elec electronics, excuse me. That's pretty much what's going on here. We're getting everything realized. We have plenty of water over in this sector. I don't have a space for waste. I wish you could split this in half, but you can't. There are a few things that I do wish would change about this game, but overall I think we'll be all right. Everyone should get fed. We shouldn't really have a worry in the world outside of getting things uh, like water treatment centers and stuff uh, all, all shored up. <clears throat> all right, well, we've hit something a little sooner than we did the last time. It's been a few cycles, by the way. Uh, they're not wrong with the interpretation of their process as crude. Uh, we're not monitored. You're not being lied to. We merely adapt our speech. It's necessary to protect ourselves from deviant and conspiratorial. No, these systems are crucial for the balance. Now, that might lead to a minus, permanent one, minus one permanent behavior, but uh, if that's the case, then so be it. Uh, we need to just ensure that there is nothing there. Cool. Now, what do we need in here that would be of vital importance? That's what I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what we should put here if there really needs to be anything at all. So for the time being, that's going to hold nothing. I'm not going to get rid of it. I just don't know what we need to do with it. We're still sending probes out left and right. We're working on getting our water treatment center up and running. Now what we could also do is go after our algae farm. Oh, we did unlock the algae farm. Four algae plantations. Okay, well let's go ahead. And of course the algae farm takes up just a stupid number of electronics because why wouldn't it? Uh, however, we could... Yeah, let's give them a space. We'll go right there. This is the high priority, so that's what you get first. 
And then while everyone else is trying not to starve, we're going to try to get everything else rolling. Guys, we're just kind of taking our time. And in fact, we got 12F done. Sample analysis indicates the outgassing of nitrogen dioxide from below the surface 12 degrees Fahrenheit resulted in the red mist. The team of the scout was also able to establish parallels between the data sets collected on Crook P43 and 12F's geological, did I say 12 Fahrenheit? <laughs> uh, and 12F's geological activity. Abnormal levels of Frouse's tachyons were detected beneath the planet's surface, the cause of which remains unknown. We're going to collect a little bit of data first. So we can expand all the things that we need to expand. But what do we go after is the real question. Construction speed isn't necessary for us at the moment. There's nothing I think that we could upgrade here. The fusion station, okay, that's over here. Production speeds increased by 10%. 15 ice now produces 60 water. None of that's bad per se, uh, but it's not necessarily what we need. Provides an initial one stability when it has more than 800 crew. That's pretty much all sectors right now. We could also, let's see, probe, scouting, radius. I don't know that that's what we need right now. We could go after panel production, power overloads. There's just so many things. Neil Haley protocol isn't necessarily what we need either. The risk foresight, I think the risk foresight is what we need to do. Let's do risk foresight so we can get our fire stations up and running properly, which station one should have, nope, still does not have. We're trying to fill it out as much as possible. We may need another electronics workshop as well. We were doing so well at the end of the last episode and now we're kind of scrambling to survive. But also kind of like it, I'm not going to lie. Risk foresight, which should give us... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put out fires a lot quicker. And then once we collect that, we'll go after our, our friends over there. And then 12D is here as well, which means we're going to be able to see a different scenario unfold depending on our interactions there. That's okay. We're doing okay. Oh, all right. While the Gears crew were out carrying the research, they became trapped by a lava tide. The phenomenon had been theorized, but was subject to debate within the Tycoon scientific community. Today, the theory has been verified. The crew were able to transmit their conclusions on geothermal activity of 12D before being engulfed. That was not supposed to happen. Unless it was 12H where we had the, the bacteria. I don't quite remember. We're going to find a Yumi Otomo. Goodness gracious. And then we need to rebuild our science ship. I'm not sure what sector that was in. Right there. Build a new science ship. We'll be on our way. Guys, I'm going to disappear for a little bit again until we get this all figured out. All right, we progressed. Only a few scraps of organic tissue remain on the giant's bones. Organic sampling has revealed the corpse of a Yumi Otomo, as we mentioned before. Well, we didn't get our resolution as I had hoped, but that's okay. We still don't know what's happened with that. That's a little bit of a funky thing. Oh, but we still have so much more that we can collect and so much more that we can do. But we're going to do one more thing before we actually go after the Piranesi again. Again, we're kind of realizing our potential and what we can and cannot do here. So what I need to do is I need to focus on getting over to this unknown structure and seeing what's up there. We're going to move them to that. We're going to move Professor over to 12D. We're going to continue our research and maybe maybe we just sit back, relax, and soak up as much as we can before going after the Piranesi again because I really don't know how we're going to be able to defeat that thing with everything that's going on, but we'll figure out a way one way or another. Our probe has detected a dolo signal. There is some wreckage here, not much larger in size than the scout. Contained within is a distress beacon. The emitted signal is incredibly similar to those that the tycoon uses. We will investigate the wreck, see what that's about as we move on to 12E and see what it is about and continue our idea. Holy cow. 
of worrying about what we need to do for our power. Team has identified the fragmented wreck as part of the tycoon. A large amount of Frouse's tachyons were detected, as well as the frozen corpse of tycoon member Sona Yu. Reviewing DLS data confirms that, this, that Sona Yu is alive and well on the station. Tycoon engineers have also verified that the components and plating found at the wreck are still in their proper place in the tycoon. What is going on? The team of the scouts see this as a warning, spelled out uh, as an inscription they found on a piece of floating metal. Let's not make the mistakes we know are possible. What? It's part of the tycoon. I don't remember Sony Yu and what she was doing. They're still in their proper place. Since it's part of the tycoon, we're just going to leave that area. I don't know how to interpret that. <laughs> what in the world? But we now have a heck and a lot more. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, let's go ahead and secondary that. We're going to primary that. And we're going to send all these guys to come get those structures there as we uncover a massive, a massive amount of science. That is bonkers, man. 12E. We've landed on 12E, although it's a much warmer and more humid climate. It does possess oxygen. Perfect. Let's establish an advanced colony. We do have a, a lot of colonists in Sector 5. So let's go ahead and transfer uh, Sector 1 has no colonists. Sector 2 let's transfer 45 colonists from Sector 2 to Sector 5. Uh, sector 6 From sector six to sector five. So I can't even transfer that. Okay, that's fine. That's not a problem. What a bonkers thing, man. We're discovering all sorts of stuff. And we're also really, really getting a lot of valuable research down over here that I think will really, ooh, man, will it allow us to do a lot of stuff. Ice preparation fusion station. What I've noticed as well is that the power cost of the water treatment center is 100 power. So we need to work on the fusion station to get, what do we need? Ice preparation workers, which requires high pressure cutters. So we'll do that, go to high pressure cutters, reduce the power of that, and then over here, we'll be able to launch our massive food supplies, or at least what we can hope are our master, master, massive food supplies. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end today's episode with something really, really cool. I've, we are very clearly running at absolutely top notch, top speed, top everything that's possible. And that's okay, because what I can also potentially do is start another hydrogen center. If I could figure out where that is. Steel. Fusion. Nope, that's the fusion center. Nuclear power plant. Oh, wow, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was. We have no place for it. So what we are going to have to figure out, we are running absolutely low. We are going to have to overload or operate another sector. But one of the cool things is that if we can manage things right, we're not going to be able to build anymore. But if we can manage things right, which means I'm actually going to have to cancel that right there. Because that would have overloaded me. I guess because it's in the process of building, I can't stop it. How much water does it take for this joint? Oh, we actually... No, we have enough water for a sector. Okay. Well, for one thing, we need to remove this bad boy. Why can I no remove you? It's fully functional. But it's saying that it's not working. Interesting. Well, anyways, what I was going to say... Yeah, it's really not letting me do this one. I wonder if I need to be connected to it. We'll see. So we're overloaded at the moment just by a smidgen. But what's really cool is it only lasts for a cycle. So I would have to be able to get this guy 
uh, very, very functional constantly. But it is interesting that this water consumption is only active for a single cycle. So that means we basically have to non-stop, there must be a bug here, non-stop require them, this guy to have as much as possible. Because watch this, water compensation goes away, which means this doesn't work. At this point, I don't know if this is effective. I'm a little too far away here to be very effective at all. What we could do is I could simply drop in a maintenance thing here that would allow me to have easier access. It does limit that space up just a little bit, but if it would help, I think that would be a good benefit to use. So for now, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to deactivate both of these. Our water problems are not done yet, unfortunately. But what it does mean is that we do have a potential solution for a large amount of stuff. Now, these guys have finished. Oh, that's right. They're still getting the bodies from over here. And I need to move this guy over there. 12L didn't have anything but science on it. So we're not going to worry about that so much. But now sector, what is that? I don't know what sector that is. I assume sector 5 doesn't have power. No, it is completely shut down until this gets repaired. And it's not going to get repaired. We're going to pause that until this gets in ship, ship, chop, shape. And that doesn't seem to want to be happening. So what we're going to do is we are going to end this right here. There's a lot of things that we could do. I could certainly do dry dynamic, which would actually be really, really uh, good. But we do need the aqueous assembly line for the fusion station. So we'll research that and go into the other section. We're not in the best of places. And in fact, our consumption of waste is huge right now because of what's going on over here. But regardless, I think we'll be in a good spot once this gets up and running again. Once we have enough power, all of those sorts of things. I mean, I can shut off that stuff there, but we're in a huge deficit. At the moment is being overworked. yep i get it all right guys thank you so much for hanging out with me today we are going to go out to the Paranisi to, uh, in the next episode not tomorrow in the next episode we're also going to work on our uh protocols over there so we can get our colonists up and running we are currently working on that we have 60 out of 200 we have all the alloy we have all the food we need for it we just simply need the colonists Guys, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. I won't even apologize for the weird upload system. That's simply how everything went. But I did hope, do hope that you enjoyed it regardless. Thank you so much for watching. This is Havoc, and I'll see you in the next episode. Established amongst the stars. Given the importance of the tycoon, we must have full control over what is happening inside the station. Administrator, trust in genetic.